The safety of whistleblowers is once again in the spotlight. South African Police Service whistleblower Patricia Mashale says her life is in danger after she exposed corruption within the police crime intelligence sector in 2009. She was reportedly dismissed last year as a senior administrator in the Free State Province. Mashale has since been pleading for protection from government as she now lives in hiding. Well, for more on hair battles, she's joining us now. Patricia Mashale. Ms. Mashale, uh, good afternoon. How safe are you today? Um, a good afternoon, then. Uh, thank you for having me. You know what? I, I went to court today then, and just today my uh, protector identified another threat at court. We had to go to the magistrate and inform him that I can be uh, staying longer at court since there was already another threat at court. So, yes, I, I'm not safe at all. I'm not safe Okay. At all. What was the threat in court? You say you're in court today. What is this threat you're talking about? Uh, you know what? One of the people that I implicated in my protected disclosure was still in SEPS. Uh, there's a lot of people of them, especially who knew I was going to be at court today. And then he went to court and uh, surely to make sure if I am indeed there. Okay. Just remind our viewers the genesis of your, of your whistleblowing case against the police, because a number of things I understand have been happening. What, what's the key issues? What did you reveal? Uh, the key issues that I revealed then was gross corruption, which uh, included criminal acts uh, of, of um, in, in implicated the, the SAPS management. If I talk about criminal acts, I talk about uh, uh, abuse of state resources, misuse of powers. I'm talking about uh, stock theft. I'm talking about um, nepotism. In, uh, yes, uh, and nepotism in SAPS is rife. Uh, the other thing that I was talking about was the appointment of, of, of um, undocumented uh, foreign nationals in the SAPS. Okay, now the, the, you are in court. Why is the SAPS uh, taking you to court? After I blew the whistle uh, to the former National Commissioner in January to 2021, one of the generals that I implicated in my protected disclosure obtained a protection order uh, against me to block me from exposing this corruption. So that is basically why the protection orders are against me. Uh, today, when I was at court, I was served again by the same general uh, for the contravention of that protective, uh, protection order because I, I revealed this information in the public domain. I just received now uh, a notice again uh, General Agnes Machele, the one who was arrested with Patlani and her husband, who is the uh, same Mutansi Machele, who is the provincial spokesperson of Free State, also obtained uh, an, uh, protection orders. Uh, I see the date, the notice date is the 23rd of January. So what is happening here then is now SAPS is now misusing the family courts to obtain protection orders against me to stop me from exposing the rot that is happening in SAPS. And, and this, uh, uh, the, 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 the uh, uh, um, SPP, the, the, this chief uh, uh, prosecutor and his wife, we have, uh, we have the husband and the wife. The husband is the chief prosecutor. The wife is the senior prosecutor. They are actually, they are prosecuting these, these cases uh, that is why I was in court today. I was charged again uh, by uh, uh, Brigadier van der Merwe. He was a colonel when he unlawfully seized my phone with a, with a fraudulent uh, search and seizure warrant. And uh, he was promoted now to a brigadier. He was in court today, and actually he was the threat that the, so, the crime intelligence officer identified since he is one of the okay. people who I implicated in my protected disclosures. So yes, uh, the, 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 the family courts are now being used to, to stop me from exposing in the public. Uh, the, 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 the prosecutors are prosecuting me actually on these cases. While yeah. I opened, I opened serious cases against the same Panamera, against against uh, 
generalisia, let's say against the free state subs as a whole. Uh, and for the past nine months now, the DPP has been sitting with those dockets, not making any determination whether to prosecute or not. But um, yeah, I'm, I'm the okay. only one being prosecuted you, here by the DPP. Have you, yeah, I mean, the police have got IP. Have you, have you tried to engage the IP to intervene in this matter? And what were the outcomes? Did they look at any or uh, are they investigating any of the allegations that you are making? I put actually finalized the investigations in the cases that I opened against the, the, the SAPS management in July already. They handed over the dockets to the DPP uh, with recommendations. And as I just said, the DPP haven't made any determinations yet on those dockets. Okay, so what, what, what does the future look like? You, when are you going to be back next in court? You're in court today and you've managed to, to, to win, let's call it a small victory in terms of uh, certain uh, decisions being made or rulings being made in court today. What, what is next now in, in, in your fight uh, to, to clear your name? And as you said, uh, uh, having exposed these alleged acts of fraud and corruption with the SAPS. I was in court today and I, I, I asked the magistrate to, to make a submission and requested that the, the DPP, the Matsukus, be removed uh, from the matter and uh, independent uh, prosecutors be appointed. Uh, the magistrate granted my submission and uh, removed the entire prosecutor uh, team in Free State. So a new prosecutor and a new magistrate from another is going to be appointed and so i say there's a there's a huge victory for me because now i will get a fair trial in these uh, okay. cases so the way forward uh, the cases the case have been remanded until the 31st of january so um uh, uh, after that uh, 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 the trial like i said i will get a fair trial and uh, to prove uh, the allegations, as they say, I'm spreading false allegations. So I will have to take all my evidence to court to prove that the allegations that I've been making against them, there's there's evidence. I have a dossier of all the evidence in it. And with my other matters, I did get a response from, from Parliament. Uh, I'm going to do a presentation to Parliament on the 30th of November, and uh, we'll see what happens from there. Okay. But then I don't want to wait until the 30th of November. I need the president to make a, a decision on, 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 especially around my protection, because as, as I made the, the, the call for South Africans to blame, as much as I made this call for South Africans to blame the president, when anything happened to me, uh, someone can, might just as well say, you know what, uh, since I'm not on the side of the president, let us kill them uh, and then put the blame, blame on the president. So now the ball is in the president's court. He must decide. Uh, because either way, uh, should something happen with me, uh, whether from uh, friends or uh, enemies of his side, uh, either way, I'm still putting it on him. So he must make a decision as to which way it's going to go. It sounds like your life is in danger, Patricia. Why are you pursuing this? You know what, then? Um, when I started this, I never anticipated that I, 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 my life will, will actually be in danger because, I mean, I'm working for the South African Police Service. And... Uh, uh, we are supposed to to protect lives, so I that, that that shows me that what I've been uh, exposing is much more deeper than I I actually thought. So these people want to keep me quiet at all costs. But I I I I have been reporting corruption since 2009 when Becky Taylor was okay. still the the the, 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 the national commissioner. And uh, since I've been reporting corruption, and my only intention is to is to 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 fix the police and fix the country as a whole. Because when we have a dysfunctional police, uh, okay. how is our country going to be be, be fixed? Okay. Because it all started. Uh, let me say, let 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 it all start with me. And okay. um, like I said before, if something happens to me, then yeah. Okay. Uh, uh, it's, it's, and it's, it's, so be it, but um, 
Yeah, it's a tough position yes, to be in, uh, Patricia. We'll keep on following your story. You're going to be engaging with Parliament uh, shortly, at uh, the end of this month, and uh, also you'll be back in court, uh, as you said, at the end of January 2023. That's a SAP's whistleblower, Patricia Mashale, claiming all sorts of allegations against uh, the police, particularly in the Free State Province.